Brown. I just created a mobile website for my personal website, timothypaulbrown.com, and I thought I would share it with you. I decided to use Hype by Tumult to set it up. And so you're looking at Hype right now on my desktop, and you're looking at the application that I designed. Now, if you haven't used Hype before to do this, it's pretty simple. You go to the Document tab, and you set the dimension that you want to use to set up your site. In this case, I use 320 by 480 is the recommended dimensions for a full screen app that takes advantage of the entire screen real estate of your iPhone. Not how it looks in Safari, by the way. If you wanted to format it just for Safari, you would select iPhone and then Safari Portrait. And here it indicates that the dimensions would actually be 320 by 396. I like to view my iPhone in full screen mode and so I chose 320 by 480. I rarely use Safari when viewing things in full screen mode. I use alternative browsers like iCab and, and Maven to name just a couple. So this is what you're looking at as a format that fills in the entire screen real estate of your iPhone. Now, I just wanted to use large clear cut buttons that would enable people to easily navigate the site. So this is the very first scene. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Hype, all of these images above are made of scenes. And you have the option to hide them or show them. And each scene represents a different page of the website, so to speak. And so what you're looking at here is the home page. And how I set it up is I just <clears throat> added a photo. And you add a photo by going to insert and then image. And then add it text, and you, you do that by, so Timothy Paul Brown is basically a text field that I added by just going to insert and text, and contact button is a button that I added. So I went to insert and button, and then added contact in there and formatted the button under the element expector, where you can go in and change the color of your button to black. So that's how I did that. And the buttons that you see along the top and the bottom are all PNGs, that is transparent images in the form of buttons that I've added as links to the different pages. So let's start up the top. Up above is a home button for home. I have a graduation cap for an education page have a podcast icon for some podcasts that I want to highlight on my website. The suitcase is my career page. And the rulers and brushes and pens are my projects that I created. All, all of those little tiny PNGs serve as hyperlinks to different pages on my site. And then below, of course, is YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook, all of which are PNGs as well, which I set up to launch a separate window when clicked upon. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the graduation cap, which is a link to my education page. And it's very simple how you set this up. You go to the mouse action inspector, and you'll see cursor, and then the next level you'll see on mouse click. This is how you control what you want people to do when they click on the button. So here I have jump to scene as an option rather than go to URL, compose email, etc. And then the scene is education, which is an education page I set up. Now Hype also gives you the option at animations. They do not apply to all browsers, for example, IE will not play animations, nor will IE play or show PNGs or any kind of transparent layers. For my purposes, I'm biased in this way. I, I don't really care about IE. I'm a Mac user. If you use Safari or Firefox or Chrome, that's good enough for me. Again, I'm a little biased in that area, but I chose purposely to set this up specifically for the iPhone. And if you're using an iPhone, you won't be using IE. So 
Under transition, you have an op option to create a transition as instant, crossfades, swap, push left to right, or push right to left. I chose push right to left. And every button that's featured on this site goes from right to left, adding a real cool animation feature. And I'm going to show you that at the end when I show you a screenshot of my iPhone. So the next scene that I set up is my education page. And basically what I did was for every subsequent scene, let me go back to the home page. I basically just copied every single button once I set them up. Once I set up all of my scenes rather, I copied all the buttons by doing command C and pasting them in each scene so that all the buttons matched. All the links were already set up, so all I had to do was just copy and paste the links throughout the other scenes. And that's a quick way of doing it. And with the contact button, I just wanted people to email me if they wanted to reach me directly. So the other option is, instead of jumping to the scene that you want to jump to, or to play a timeline, run JavaScript, or go to URL, you have the option to compose email. So when, click, when people click on contact, they can email me directly. And that's pretty much how I set it up. As you can see with YouTube, go to URL. I have the option checked open in new window because I don't want people to navigate to say the YouTube page and then have to eat, hit the back button to go back. And that's how I set each page up. So I'm gonna go ahead, you know, Hype gives you an option too to preview what it looks like in a browser. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and just navigate through all of my pages. Here's the education page. And as you recall, I set up transitions that enable each link to go from right to left. Undergraduate page, so they can go back to there. Graduate page. Uh, set up a podcast page as well. And I have three podcasts that I work on right now. And then I have you know, various projects that I've worked on and people can navigate through those. And then the links at the bottom open up a new window that takes you to my different social networking sites. And that's pretty much how I set it up. Now in terms of videos, I used a, a feature that Hype provides for setting up an embed function for your YouTube videos. You go to HTML widget and you paste this box where you want it to go. You then hit this little pencil tool. You then grab the embed code and paste it right into this field here. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually select the one I already set up. And you can see I have the embed code right here. So if I was added to this box, I'll just go ahead and then paste, paste it right in there and then a video shows up. It's really that simple. That's all you have to do. If you ever wanna play video, I recommend that you use YouTube videos because you can be guaranteed they will play in multiple browsers and you, won't, and you won't have any problems with having to upload three and four different video formats so that they can play in all browsers. It's a real headache. And that's basically it. So let me go ahead and just show you what it actually looks like in a simulation of my iPhone. Okay, everyone, you're looking at a screenshot that is mirrored on my desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my new mobile website in a full screen browser. I'm gonna go ahead and use Maven, M-A-V-E-N, because it does offer a full screen capability. All right, now this is what my website looks like in full screen mode. Again, this is not Safari, this is Maven. And what I wanna show you very quickly is just how the buttons navigate from one scene to the next using that transition feature that I showed you earlier that allows you to go from right to left. It's my education page. I have a little tab for undergraduate and a back button to go back. Graduate page. My podcast. And here's my career page and I set up options to go to different places where I work and so forth. As I mentioned earlier, I did set up the the social media buttons and I purposely set those up so that it will open up a separate browser so for example if I want to go to Pinterest as I mentioned before I'm using Maven so 
I can navigate back by simply hitting the previous window. Okay, there's one more very important thing that I want to share with you. When adding your mobile website to your server, is that you want to be able to bounce people directly or redirect them directly to your mobile site when going to your main web address. So for example, this is my main website. As you can see, when I designed it, I had the iPad in mind, but I didn't have the iPhone in mind. So that's what prompted me to redesign it. This is not going to look good on the iPhone. But when people come to this site, I want them to be able to detect that a mobile device is being used, thereby redirecting them to the mobile site that I have set up. And you do that by pasting a little bit of code into your HTML page. So I'm going to go to Dreamweaver now, which I use to help set up this particular page. Okay, this is the code view of that page. And at the very top, I pasted in a little bit of code to redirect people to the mobile site. I'm actually going to blow this up and text edit so you can see the address more clearly. Okay, there we go. This is what it actually looks like. And you notice in the line where it says screen width, I have 699 as being the pixel dimensions. So that for example, is asking is detecting that any device that's being used that is under 699 pixels to redirect it to the mobile site and the address that I have in the document location is the exact address of where my subfolder is located with all the hype files you take this code and you paste it into the very top of your Dreamweaver document. So basically, right up here at the very top is where I pasted that particular line of code. And now when people come to my site, if they're using a device that's under 699 pixels, it will be redirected to the mobile site. And that's my new mobile website. Again, this was created using Hype. And I have to say, I'm very pleased and I think you will too. If you have any questions or comments about how I did any of this, please email me at myapplepodcast at gmail.com or visit my website, myapplepodcast.com. I have a contact page there. You can, you can reach me there as well. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear from you. I would love to know what you're working on. Maybe I can share some of your projects on the website. Until next time, I'll see you.